I'm back with another video. Today we have 15. Why did I say that like Mike Tyson? Let's start over. We have 15 rappers who checked streamers. <laughs> it's on both screens, man. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. One rapper checked the streamer for dissing his dead brother, and NLE Chopper almost smoked the streamer for stealing his money. These are rappers who checked YouTubers and streamers. And we gotta start off with Mayno, because Mayno is an older rapper, and a YouTuber named Booba tried joking around with Mayno like he could beat him up and take his chain, because Booba goes up to Mayno to interview him. Mayno lets Booba know not to say anything crazy since he is already not in the best mood. But Booba starts the interview off by talking crazy since he said his objective is to snatch some chains. I came over here. Like, right now, don't say nothing crazy though. Nah, I mean, I, 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 look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying like, I came over here like my objective over here today was to, you know what I'm saying, snatch some chains. You feel what I'm saying? Like I already, you should I try that. No, nah, I'm saying you I already, really I, try. I, Booba keeps joking around. So Mayno goes on to ask him if he wants his moment since he doesn't chill with all the trolling. That's when Booba starts stuttering and continues asking crazy questions. Wait, why, why, so why they keep looking at me like that? Like they're making me feel a type of you way. Want, you want your moment, right? Huh? You want your moment, right? Wait, what, what you mean? You gonna get it? No, no, no. Guarantee you. No, get not it. like that. I'm just saying, I like, guarantee you. I, gonna so get so it. Look, I swear on everything I love, so, you so gonna get I, your moment. All right, so wait. So let me borrow be your nice. chain. Let me be, borrow your chain. Be nice. I can't be nice. borrow your chain. You can. Not, I can't borrow your chain. You wanna borrow my chain? Yeah, let me let, let me borrow it. Let me let me put on your chain so I can see how it feels. Mayno warned Booba multiple times to chill out, and you could easily tell he was getting annoyed since Booba was wasting his time. But that's when Booba asked Mayno a question about how bad he would whoop him, and that's when things went left because he does this next. I right, look, look, quick question, right? Now Hold on, I right, look, check. look, quick question, right? On a scale of one to ten, right? How badly, right? You think I could like beat your? Yo, he almost broke. He almost broke that boy jaw back. <laughs> Talking to y'all, Phil. Mayno warned Booba multiple Look, watch times this. to chill out, and you could easily tell he was getting annoyed since Booba was wasting his time. But that's when Booba asked Mayno a question about how bad he would whoop him, and that's when things went Look. left because he does this. <laughs> I can't even feel sorry for you. What he say, Booba? I can't. You. I ask some dumb questions, so your ass won a dumbass prize. Surprise. He already told you. You up there playing. That's what somebody like likeness in their image. They a walk-in brand. And then you on here trying to make them the butt of the joke <laughs> to your little audience. Like. <laughs> This next. I right, look, look, quick question, right? Hold on, I look, look, quick question, right? He almost broke his mouth. On a scale of one to ten, right? How badly, <laughs> right? You think I could like beat your? Oh, 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 didn't I, I tell you not to play that. with me? You have to be careful when playing with some people because everyone doesn't have the same sense of humor. And streamer Aiden Ross had to learn this Temperance. the hard way because one day he decided to link up with Moneybag Yo. While they are together, Aiden is freestyling with Zayas and Moneybag and everything starts. Hi, we're visible. Oh the wireless company God. that makes things We, we can skip it though. With us, what you see is what you He starts off smooth. Moneybag is vibing and trying to show Aiden how to freestyle. Just look at my wrist like, wait. Aiden then tries pranking Moneybag, so he says something sus to him during the freestyle. That's when Moneybag looks confused and tells Aiden that he's BSing. So look at my wrist, I got time today. Moneybag, you look so fine today. What? Yeah, pull up wine the red. I got blue on me. Man, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Bro, I don't let your friend. Huh? You bull. <laughs> Moneybag was dead serious and not rocking with the sus jokes since everyone doesn't like joking that way. So Aiden asks for one more chance and he starts freestyling on another beat a few seconds later. But this time he says some more off the wall stuff to Moneybag later into the freestyle. But Bag lets that one slide. Dead serious. Okay. 
I will do one. I got you. I got you. One more chance. That's all I ask. Try again, bro. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come on. I didn't mean to say that either, bro. Money bag, you going crazy, sir? I like it. I compliment you because you are killing it. You're gonna have to buy me a purse, but not that's a purse. Wait, stop, wait, 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 I'm in. Wait, wait, wait. Aiden then asks for one more beat and does the same thing again. And this time, Moneybag swings at him to make him chill out with all of those weird jokes and walks out since he doesn't play around that way. Give me like, just give me something quick like, uh, huh. Bone says I was a jit. Grab a toothpick, grab it, twist it, like it's a Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> No, no. But that ain't nothing because this next rapper completely went off on a streamer for trying to steal some of his money. One day, Aiden Ross was doing a big stream and he decided to bring I Show Speed and Izzy Prime on his stream since he was going to have NLE Choppa and his friends there. During the stream, NLE Choppa and everyone were dancing since the views on the stream were going crazy. But in the middle of dancing, NLE Choppa and one of his rapper friends from Memphis named Lil 100 started throwing money on speed to hype things up even more. That's when the streamer Prime started picking the money up off the ground and 100 and Choppa tell Prime to put the money down. And they need all that back since it's their money. <laughs> Well, Honey keeps telling Prime to put all his money back on the ground since he had no business picking it up. And that's when things start to get heated because Prime gets mad saying he didn't touch their money. Everyone then starts laughing at Prime while he's getting checked. That's when Prime tells 100 that he's from the south side of Chicago. But 100 lets Prime know he doesn't care where he's from and he doesn't play about his money. Embarrassing. In Drake voice, that's this is embarrassing. I hate when somebody say where they from. To any going forward in the future, if anyone see this or any altercations that's to come about, I try to avoid it. I try to move like Denzel from the Book of Eli, becoming my James Bond self. Avoid the BS. But this going forward in the future. For anybody out there, don't tell me where you from. I don't give a fuck where you from. Only tell me where you from if I ask you. Am I gonna ask you? No, I'm never gonna ask you. I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, it's like when people say they from somewhere, it's like it's some badge, some magical badge or something that come with it. It's bitch asses everywhere, everywhere, with four syllables. In Chicago, South Side Chicago, I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, they here. Um, anywhere you can think, Be Beijing, China, they, they everywhere. You saying you from somewhere doesn't mean shit. Let me know if you hate that too. I can't stand that with somebody. Uh, like, it's like they, they built, they trying to build up the, the power meter or something. It's over level 9,000. They trying to build it up and stop with the metrics, the, 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 the stupid shit. But let's continue, cause that a never mind. Let's continue. Money, let's wait. I don't know what it is. Play about my money, right, boy. All right. All right. Twitch on jail. Talking about get down there, get the strip. I ain't got out of no jail. How many times you want me to tell you that? I ain't been to no jail. You want me to tell you that again? Okay. Okay. Let's go. 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 let us go and me, I'm nigga phobic. Meaning, I can't, you know how you claustrophobic? I can't be around a bunch of niggas. I can't get away from me, specimen. I can't, I can't deal with it. Like, I don't like that. My biofuel is clean. I did my self work, underwent neuroplasticity. I think different. I'm not the same. I'm not bug broken. My, I, I cleaned up what was. I rewrote my DNA. Just know that. So I'm already, I'm corrected basically. So I'm over here. I don't want my biofuel to intertwine with, with with this this stupid shit that's going on. So yeah, I can't be around a bunch of nigga. I can't. 
Let's continue. You talking about? Yeah, all right. I don't play about my money. Y'all back to twitching? Get back to twitching. Brian then tries saying something else, slick to him. But that's when 100 walks up and checks him again. So Prime sat down and stopped talking for a minute, since he could tell that 100 wasn't playing. Back to twitching. All right. All right. Because when you around this kind of shit, it be a bunch of little games going on. Like with the thing, the power meter, the verbiage. Oh, I'm from such a, that don't mean shit. Ah, whoop your ass. Meek Mio from Philly. You seen how he punch? Where you from don't mean shit, I'm telling you. Most motherfuckers can't fight at all. So wait, it, that, that don't mean shit. Where you from? As soon as you say that, right there. So I let As soon as you say that, you want arm's length? But, um, yeah, it'd be dick measuring contests and all that kind of shit going on. Like, bro, I'm just trying to create, innovate, move forward, amplify and enchant what I already got going on, pick up some more skills and learn. And, yeah, it's like I don't avoid it because I ain't scared of it. I used to, I growing up, I used to think that I was, like, scared of confrontation low-key. But then I got older, I started seeing the interviews with, like, someone that was most dangerous, like a... Um, Mike Tyson, he said he felt that feeling too, like the butterflies or whatever. It's a natural thing, and it's something you can turn off and suppress and control better the more you get battle tested and all that. I used to think, is this just a me? Why the fuck? I don't want to feel that. But come to realize, it was that I was, I was never scared. I always knew about the consequences of things growing up, and they always pushed that fear on me with that earlier on. So that was more my thing. I just felt like I'm finna stab him up like Jason Voorhees a thousand times. But nowadays, it's like, yeah, it's best to just avoid it. For your sake, John Wick ain't the only motherfucker that can kill somebody with a pencil. I can do it too. A book too. I can do it too. A man is more dangerous with a book than he is with that pistol, I'm telling you. But, um... Just, just scan a room. I can't be around this. I can't be around it. Not to say I can be on a yacht, all white party with what's his name? How they hugging little baby from? I can't be around that either. So yeah, I'm looking for my Fast Too Furious family. Like you see, Fast Too Furious, they got like a, a Asian female, Asian guy, Jamaican, Haitian, black, white, whatever. They just got a whole bunch of, and they a melting pot, and they foundation. It's like they all got like the similar core values and ethics and principles and i'm looking for my kind of family like that just because you born in some shit and you blood doesn't make you family but yeah i can't be around this shit but let's continue i know i'm everywhere here but after 100 kept talking about it prime then said it was nothing but 40 dollars but 100 let him know that it was about the principal since the main reason he was mad was due to prime picking up his money off the ground without even knowing him hey, yo, man, what it is? What it is? Principal, I don't play about my money. Enough. Only putting up my like money. Like I said, in my $20? Head. And I got a pocket full of money. I don't give a yeah, what it is. Ooh, ooh, yeah. This one. I'm up in a row. And me, I can be a billionaire. Um, I don't care what it is. I want my money too. Bro, I come from, have you ever felt hunger pains of really starving? Have you ever been homeless? Have you, I've been through some real shit. So it's like, I know where I come from and I never forget it because I don't want to forget it. That's how you get lost in this image of how people see you. And I never forget it. I remember having a dollar and splitting the, the dollar with bro and we going, you can't do much with a dollar now, but. Yeah, I know what that's like. I'm never... So, yeah, I don't care what it is. I want my money. You're not going to see me at a strip club throwing my money either. I could be helping some people out on Skid Row. It's homeless people. This shouldn't even exist, but it's homeless people and people in need. I can really be helping somebody else out instead of just wasting... Basically, what on bull... I'm not doing it. Me, personally, I'm not doing it. If you ever see me at a strip club, it was somebody else's idea, and I'm throwing Usher bucks. Um... Hold on, did that is that all of it? Yeah, let's continue. Bye, bro. Twitching. 100 tells Prime to get back to streaming before someone gets to twitching, since he was letting Prime know that he'll really take things there. 
That's when things heat up even more. Did he grab his money? Like, you're taking something from me? Ain't nobody never took nothing from me in my life. Everyone tries to calm things down since they know 100 is dead serious. Prime eventually leaves due to what 100 did to him. I don't want to be in a room, shorty, because I'll be... Easy. I, we both ain't, because I, I, I don't know who no people think I am. Thankfully, Prime left before things got too bad, because 100 was what... That look on his face, when niggas do that, they be the first to get knocked out if they don't come out shooting. You better off start shooting before you get embarrassed, man. Don't 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 be doing it. The ones that's loud and you you using all your chakra reserves. Not you probably ain't even got the you you using your remaining your chakra reserves. I'm not finna waste that and doing that yelling and all that. It could be somebody you know you will beat their ass. I'm not doing it. That's I that's cowardistic. I know they say choose your battles. That's smart, right? But I'd rather avoid it all together. I don't care if you some little peep squeak lame that talk crazy or whatever, or you somebody that might actually be comp, or somebody that you think that's above the level of comp. Like now I'm gonna show you all the same benefit of the doubt on leniency. You can say what you want. It's your mouth. I agree with freedom of speech. I'm walking, I'm doing my thing. Just don't get an arm's length. Cause at that point I'ma tell them you was trying to harm me. And, and, and I'm I'ma beat your ass. I'ma fuck you over. No diddy, not that. And no diddy. Damn. I can't edit either. It's tough. You know what the fuck I meant. Let's continue. Who know who know people think I am? Thankfully, Prime left before things got too bad because 100 was willing to take it there. But that isn't the only time someone checked Izzy Prime. In August 2023, Aiden Ross started talking with Charleston White, and fans were rocking with the two. So Aiden planned a trip to Vegas for him and Charleston. Prime was also invited since he and Aiden are close friends. During the trip, Charleston and Prime constantly had small disagreements with each other. But while they were out to eat, that's when things took a turn. Because Prime calls Charleston White Rainbow due to something that he had done in the past. Charleston then asked Prime, why is he worried about what he does with his Jimmy? Why are you worried about it though? Prime, oh, where does ask Charleston then asks why Prime even jumped in the conversation if Aiden was asking him a question. question yes. This man is just yes. asking me a straight up question. Yes. This yes. come yes. jump in. This yes. come yes. jump in. This yes. come yes. jump in and go to talking on my yes. but I'm yes. what you talking about my yes. for? What you talking about my yes. for you? Prime then gets pissed and lets Charleston know that he's not playing with him. Charleston tells Prime that he's not playing with him either. And the two continue arguing for a few more seconds before things take a turn. I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you then. You. Charleston then starts calling Prime all types of names since Prime called him Rainbow. Prime tells Charleston to watch how he talks to him. So Charleston then stands up over Prime I remember asking this. him what he is going to do since he wants to act so tough with him. You in the mud. No, but you in the house. Watch how you talk. You watch how much you want to do. You came and jumped. Y'all reaching in that pocket. Once Charleston starts checking Prime, he asks Aiden to get Charleston away from him since he didn't want to risk getting maced or poked up by Charleston. Yeah, to the young boys coming up or whoever end up watching this, make sure, I wouldn't say you have a role model because a role is a, someone's, because people go through real things and they don't know how to deal with things because they ain't know, they never been in, in this position until now. So somebody just showing and walking like how to rock do, for instance, like it's like you don't, so it's like me, I don't want to be a role model. I don't want to play a role unless I go cast for acting. But I want to be a real model and just be me. Like how I dealt with things, even if I ain't handle it best. Smart people learn from their other mis their own mistakes, and wise people learn from others. But one thing about a guy that can fight, that's competent, capable, and sharp, and it's above this bullshit. Like he's not yelling. A motherfucker that's loud as hell can't beat nobody. Bruce Lee ain't loud at all. And any one of these, you can you can go and grab the most almighty tough street nigga that talk all that all he. He might have some goons that are put, put in some work for him, or he might bust his gun himself. But if he literally just himself, what can he do? Most, they can't fight. 
they're pedestrians but and don't how some people still get in each other face still get in each other face and start talking and all that first of all i don't want you spitting on me and i don't know what you liable to do i don't care if you built like neon or you built like the rock you stay out of arm's length you get an arm length it's on that's it that's how i move i'm not doing it yelling you waste your energy doing it you waste your chakra reserves and a loud yelling motherfucker ain't never been a tough guy at all he get his ass beat by somebody that's calm and quiet so yeah stay calm if you can't avoid it, move out the way. If they follow you, put an end to that. Don't punch somebody and they wobbling in front of everybody and people recording and laughing. And then you give dude time to recoup, to recover and grab his gun and start. Don't do that. Once you hit, you got to put that person out completely. I done seen things. People done got in fights. Dude got over on him. Dude got a wobbling and embarrassed. Grabbed his gun and killed dude. Like It get like that. So make sure if you just avoid it. If you can, but if you can't, put an end to that. Beat that boy unconscious. So he's unresponsive and he's not responding. Well, let's continue. This is all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park. You know you got to do that when you're on here. Keep talking, I'm going to spread like you're going to do something. All right. You're going to do a Charleston then lets Aiden know that he's going to leave the stream since Prime wanted to be the center of attention before he had to do something to Prime. Prime then went live on IG after the situation took place. Since people were saying he ruined the stream and he said the only reason he didn't touch him was due to him having the mace. You can go watch it. He stood up over me because I called him and he, he like, you a punk. And I was stood up. All I did was stood up then he, he got the mace. When he got the mace, that's the threat. I'm like, bro, I ain't did then, not long after that, fans found out that Aiden and Prime had called the police on Charleston White to have him removed from the hotel since they didn't want Charleston actually harming Prime. But they pressured me by being a snitch. I was going to say, why is this still on here? Didn't they just patch this shit up? They patched this shit up. Like, why? Is... But it's say 15 rappers who check streams. All right. He's not a rapper. But... Oh. Been blowing me a year Let's skip to the next segment, man. Who always acts tough online and talks crazy. Until one day, he ended up running into one of the people he was acting crazy toward. That's a skippable one. Towards and got checked. Because Neon kept doing a disrespectful drill dance named Naughty Bop that makes fun of a 14-year-old rapper who got stabbed in a train station in New York. And the dance was created by Naughty's Ops to disrespect him. Fans told Neon to chill while doing the dance multiple times since he isn't from the streets and shouldn't be making fun of the dead. That's when Naughty's brother, Didi Osama, saw a clip of Neon and asked him if he could stop disrespecting his dead brother. But Neon didn't listen. So one day, Didi got Neon's location and tried jumping Neon and his manager. Neon. Neon ended up getting away to avoid getting hurt, but three months after the incident, Neon bumped into Didi and made him apologize for doing the dance, making fun of his dead brother. Listen, listen, I just want to tell you this, baby boy, like, you, like, you don't know where I come from. Like, yeah. You not from the streets, baby boy. Like, you, you's really, like, you was really a nerd, baby boy. You was really a nerd, baby boy. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, look, you good? look, 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 like, not from the streets, Neon was scared, and his security guard was on standby, since they didn't want Didi doing anything to Neon. But he let Neon know he didn't want to hurt him. He just wanted him to apologize, since he's dissing someone he doesn't know. I want to apologize to her too, bro. It's not, it's not right what I did. You got to apologize to my mom, my fans, my everything. It's not even about that even, my heart. It's just about, it's a, you're not it's, even in the streets to be even I didn't, I, I, brother, It was back in the day. I didn't realize what I was doing, bro. Yo, woo. It's not even, yo. Why you not paying attention? So I'm, like, I'm nervous, you know bro. I feel right now? I feel like slapping the sh and that wasn't the only time Neon got checked by a rapper. But this time, 
things were way worse. This time, Neon was out doing a stream with Ruby Rose. And at some point during the stream, they went to the studio. And while they were in the studio, Inali Chopper pulled up. And this is when things got tense. Chopper was pissed at Neon since some of Neon's fans got Chopper's show canceled and caused him to miss out on money. That's when they cut the cameras off and Chopper lets Neon know that he messed up his concert. So he owes him the money he would have made from the show due to that happening. Hey bro, you f***ed one of my shows, bro. Your show? Yes, man. Wait, what did I do? You was outside or something. I was supposed to be born. And then they seen that you was on live and they raided the whole hotel and the whole show got canceled. Then you swatted. No him. way. He got it swatted on God couldn't even perform. <laughs> I was supposed to get paid a bag too, so you look he owed me some money. And as they were driving away, you could hear Neon's security guard say that one of NLE Chopper's partners upped the Draco on Neon's people. Since they were pissed, they lost a lot of money with the show getting canceled. Big black thing that was in the room with you, the heavy one? Who our Draco? Come here, Sneeko. I can't, I, I didn't say bye. And Neon might need to stop linking up she with rappers up with because there's no telling how far some rappers will go if he gets their show canceled or trolls their dead people. But Neon isn't the only streamer who got checked by a rapper for dissing the dead. Because Sneeko was streaming one day and listening to the New York drill. And while rapping the song, he disses a dead person from New York named Jay Rip. So one day, New York drill rapper C. Blue linked up with Aiden Ross. And they were doing a jail stream. Sneeko was also there. So once C. Blue noticed Sneeko, he instantly checked him for dissing Jay Rip. And made him apologize for speaking on him. I'm gonna need a personal apology. Just apologize, bro. Real you you get me. He's talking about yeah, him, he's not talking about me. For me, person, I got tatted right here. For me, 13 year old man's I lost. For me, to the street. Shit. I just need a apology for me. I didn't just anybody. Yeah, you did. Who? You said um, you were singing a song. For me, you said you were smoking on J Rip type. I already, right after I said that, I apologize. I bet. You saw it in the clip. No, 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 I didn't. I Thankfully, C Blue handled the situation in a mature way and didn't flash out on Sneeko. But I can't say the same about the next person because YouTuber prankster White Dolomite saw Boosie while he was shopping in Walmart and tried acting tough with him since he knew that it'll go viral. But things didn't go as planned for the prankster. Dolomite pulls up on Boosie and his crew and tells Boosie to hand him something off the shelf in a racist way. Boy, I said hand it to me now. Huh? <laughs> Boosie, I'm the real bad <laughs> to me now, boy. Boosie was confused at first. Bro, I knew this was gonna be, bro, this shit ain't funny, but it's funny. I'm fucked up. I mean, community guidelines aside, and us putting up this image and going with social norms. IRL ain't shit norm about me. Fuck you. The lady on my side, I used the F word, and she liked that about me. I hold my nuts. I'm, I'm me. I'm not finna get on here and act like, oh, I'm... Um, My student's sense of humor will be deemed fucked up when it comes to the social norms and fabric of things. But shit, at least I'm me, and the social norms of things is bullshit, because behind closed doors, the populace is indoors. With all kind of sick, twisted, nasty fetishes that they act out and dream about. One second, I gotta, I gotta grab the bag, man. one second. All right, I'm back. Since he couldn't believe what was going on, and his crew tried telling the prankster to chill out since they'd really do something to him. Seconds later, one of the dudes with Boosie smacks the prankster up since he was going too far. Dolomite then calls the cops on Boosie and his people and tries getting them arrested since they hit him. Dolomite tried pulling the same prank on T.I. and Trey the Truth because they were out working on something. Dolomite pulled up on them and started talking to them in a racist manner. Here, stop taking these pictures here, boy, in my building. Hey, what are you guys doing here, boy? You, are you Lord. You could tell everyone was confused, and that's when he grabbed the prankster by the neck and let him know that they don't play. He should not be doing that. We, we all know that. But this little bitty ass nigga, I'd have, I'd have punched you right in your neck and knocked you out. Nah, you asking for it though, but still. <laughs> here, stop taking these pictures here, boy, in my building. Hey, what are you guys doing here, boy? You, 
Are you Lord. You could tell everyone was confused. Nigga, and that's when he grabbed the snake. prankster by the neck and let him know that what? they don't play with any of the racist jokes. Yeah, boy, ain't nobody yeah, boy, man. Dressed like Bob the Builder. What you talking about? Boy, what did you say, boy? No, that boy stuff, bro. Hold on, hold on, man. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank. But we don't prank with the boy with the racist. Trey then lets Dolomite know that he needs to find another way to try and go viral since the racist stuff is going to end up getting him hurt. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, I don't know what you trying to do, go Bob. I'm, I'm, I'm we, we on positive vibe. It's a prank, it's a joke. Yeah, right by the neck, it's crazy. How you trying to go viral, bro? That's hurt out here, man. No, you can't cut. Hold on, bro. And I ain't nobody's boy, man. <laughs> go about your business, man. It's, What's it's your name? White Dolomite. This ain't the way to go about it, bro. Now let's move on to Quan. I feel like something's coming in 2024. Your life and your business won't be. Rondo, Rondo, because ain't nobody you ever touch my neck. I ain't going. It's over with. Crash out. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, you fuck. He know he shouldn't be doing this. I he I think he's still doing it to this day. But getting grabbed by the neck by another man. What reflexes? My body is in the passenger. You ever seen get out? Body just react. Get off of me. Stiffy. Let's continue. That's crazy. YouTuber named that boy Q was in the mall testing people's diamonds to see if they were real. He ran into Quando and wanted to test his chain, but he wanted to pull a camera trick on Quando. So he turned the tester off to make it seem like Quando's chain was fake. And Quando felt some type of way about this. Test my chain. Are you down to the chain? No, it ain't doing that, is it? <laughs> My love, bro. Quit playing with me, man. <laughs> no, I'm telling y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Huh? The guy lets Quando know that he's trolling. But Quando warns the YouTuber that he could get murked for playing that way. Got that fake <laughs> diamond test. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. Nah, nah. Nah, but y'all playing. Get murked like oh, yeah. that. After Quando said that, the YouTuber stopped talking and agreed with Quando. You could tell his whole energy changed after he was checked for doing that. And you gotta be careful with who you invite over to your house. Because streamer Jack Dorothy decided to invite Rich the Kid and some of his people over to do a rapper-streamer collab. While Rich the Kid wasn't the one who pressed Jack, one of his partners did. Because Rich's partner's girlfriend ended up losing her expensive hoodie in Jack's crib. So Rich the Kid's partner started pressing Jack since he was pissed about his girlfriend losing her $1,000 hoodie. Wait, how the I was on watching the whole time. That's my point, so take that. Because now is not the time to fight. Bro, we're not playing. My titties like gone. What? What? Are you good? Are you lost? You good? No. Missing. What you mean? He ain't playing either. It's not a game. Well, somebody Jack was scared and confused, and Rich the Kid homie forced Jack to leave the room and try to go find the hoodie. Since he said if he didn't find it, he was going to slap him. Figure out who did. Bro, there's no way you're pressing me about the hoodie. There's no way. Figure it out. There's no way. Figure it out. It sounds like you took the hoodie. Yeah. I know. You're acting like that. Bro, I would slap you. Yeah, for real. On your lobster. Things don't stop there either. Because after the hoodie situation, Rich the Kid took one of Jack Dorothy's friend's car keys and drove off in it to disrespect them since they were pissed about the missing hoodie. And that ain't the only time Jack had problems with the rapper, because one day he had the Island Boys at his house. They were arguing with each other, and one of the Island Boys swung at Jack, since Jack was talking hard to him. Y'all gotta shake hands. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, we're cool. I'm yeah, gonna grab Jack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, let's move on to NBA Young Boys homies, d Dog. I ain't gonna say nothing, man. Let's continue. And Who Gang D, because D Dog and Who Gang D were walking down the street when a YouTuber came up to them with a camera and said this to them. I'm a real street. What up? Real street. What about? What does that mean? D Dog and Who Gang D ain't know what was going on. <laughs> and then the YouTuber mean? says, I like your chain. What does that, that mean? I'm the original chain. I'm the original chain snatcher. All right. I'm a real street. D Dog and Who Gang D started walking off, but the YouTuber started following them. That's when D Dog let him know he'll smoke him right there in broad daylight. Hey, no, no, much love. Much yeah, you won't, you won't, you won't no, oh, no, nah, but God bless you. Martin Luther King. Bro, I love you, brother. No, I'm not a comedian. 
And D-Dog is the last person a civilian should try and mess with because he was arrested for murder at 14 years old. Not too long ago, he was charged in an attempted murder case because when the cops tried pulling him over, D-Dog got into a high-speed chase that ended with him crashing and killing his homie, who was in the passenger seat. Police found guns and ski masks in the car, and D-Dog's bail was set at an insane $19.7 million. This nigga got in a high-speed chase. Excuse me. This guy got in a high-speed chase with police. Crashed and killed your homie in the passenger seat. We all know he still got caught. He still got apprehended. Like, what the? Was it worth it? You should have just put over, it sound like. Because I'm pretty sure they still caught you in. Make sure you know who your homies is. I wouldn't have been in the passenger with him. I can scan him. I know what his book consists of. I seen a billion of those books. Toss that motherfucker on the side. Like, I wouldn't have been in the... That's crazy. I mean, if he already wanted to... His man had to been one of those too, though. You are who you hang around, Right? Set to 19.7 million. It's, it's tough. That's a fucked up way to go. Dollars after receiving those nine new charges. So it's a good thing the YouTuber Steven Joe turned around and left when he did. Because ain't no telling right. what would have happened if he tried to keep acting tough with him. But that isn't the only time Steven Joe messed with the wrong rapper. In a Young boys watching this too, pull up your pants. Stop. The, it's not swaggy. It don't look good. It damn sure don't feel good. It don't feel good to have your pants. It don't. You can't run away from the colonizers, but bust at another. You got your pants down. You squabbling with somebody like me, Steve Fox. You getting your ass whipped, my guy. You, you going to be on the ground sleep with your pants at your ankle at that point. Yeah, don't do that. It don't look good. It don't attract the right females. It'll be, you ain't the right guy to even be... I wish I would be sagging. I like my pants all the way on my waist. Well, I can maneuver. I can, I can. I ain't just got hands like that. I got kicks too. I'm going crazy. I got all kind of, I got all kind of animations. I kick too. You ever been kicked in your head? Another video. He ran into Chicago rapper FBG Butter and tried joking around it's with him. Sagging. He said to Butter, "Free Lil J," since he knows Butter doesn't rock with Lil J, and this would make him mad. That's when Butter tells him this. Hey Butter, dog, free Lil J though. Hey, Stephen then takes things a bit too far and follows Butter into the store, picking at him and asking him about Lil J. Hey Butter, where Lil J at? What the he had in jail, cool. Why you ain't take him, bring him out, dog? Why you got that man locked up? Why, that, why you got his stuff locked up? Butter asks Steven if he wants to die right then and there, since he wouldn't stop playing with him. And Steven leaves the store, since Prince fans crazy. know Butter will really crash out. Are you gonna kill me? But Steven Joe ain't the only one who might need to chill with these pranks because top notch idiots almost got smoked for messing with Swifty Blue. Swifty Blue is a rapper from LA known for songs like Cuerno de Chivo and Swap for Swap with Kodak Black. Boy. But back in September 2022, a video started going around of a YouTube comedian trying to press Swifty while he was chilling in the parking lot. The YouTuber came up and asked Swifty, Hey, chilling? Hey, bro, uh, where's the nearest subway over here? I'm not from out here, that's why. Uh, Looks like you know up. a lot of directions, my boy. You trying to get dropped or what? Hey. Swifty felt disrespected, so we squared up with the YouTuber and said, What you mean? You look like a type of guy that wants to get dropped, my boy. What the f you mean? You know who I am? I don't care who you are, bro, but the way your image is, it looks like you're trying to get dropped or what? Better back up, bro. Better back up with all that. You know who the fuck I am? Where you from, matter of fact? Where you from? Earth. Where you, you, what? 
I live on Earth. Why you? Hey, chill out, bro. It's a video. It's a video. It's a chill out. The YouTuber was getting pretty scared since the prank was going too far, and Swifty pulled up his strap. The YouTuber started panicking and told Swifty it was for a video. Thankfully, the YouTuber made it out of the situation without getting popped. But the whole thing could have gone left for him. Not long after the incident, Swifty went on to Cam Capone News and talked about how you never know when someone will try and check you, even if you're in your own hood. People who don't f with me could f come try to try me and test me and rob me. You know what I'm saying? I could be the one. You know what I'm saying? Like, getting ran up on type shit. It, it, it could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody. Simple as that. And speaking of interviews, one rapper spit on an interviewer for taking up for his op, and another rapper almost tore everything up in the interview. What? Bodily fluid? Ain't no way. Ain't no way he spit on. What? Yo, that's extreme. It, it could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody. Simple as that. And speaking of interviews, one rapper spit on an interviewer. Oh, hold on. This nigga's... You can't be serious. Anybody. Simple as that. And speaking of interviews, one rapper spit on an interviewer for taking... Yeah, that's, that's wild disrespectful, bro. He scanned him. He know he could do that to him. He know who to play with and not who, not to play with. I don't respect that. I I can't stand a coward bully. Don't do nothing to somebody that true can't take being done to you. You probably know his character online. Like what he is. He's not a fighting guy. Another a confrontational guy. So you did that. You wouldn't do it with someone that's your equal reaction somebody that's a hot head too or i don't know if he acting like a hot head but that's stupid too would you do that still or somebody you know that'll destroy you i think not i don't respect that that's lame as hell and that ain't how no man had no authenticate no situation it's just verbiage being exchanged and you in a disagreeing of something that's not how no man handled it if that's me i'm beating you i'm beating your ass I'm, you not recovering when i i'm just this is YouTube, so it got guidelines. It's the way you say things, but I'm getting rid of you. That's disrespectful, bodily fluid. And... <laughs> you see earlier in the video what I was talking about, right? I'm nigga phobic. I can't be around these niggas. Get these fuck niggas away from me. It be weird shit going on. Dick measuring contests, it's underlined dick measuring contests and shit tests like how holes the weird shit like. Keep these, man, I almost said something. Keep these bitch-ass niggas away from me indefinitely. I'm cool. I don't want to be around none of this shit at all. This shit is beneath me, peasant. I don't operate on these frequencies. But that's crazy. I don't respect that because you know he's not a confrontational guy. Do that to him. It's, you're not going to do it. I don't, coward shit. Shit weak as hell. Up for his op. And another rapper almost corny. tore everything up in the interview house for disrespecting him. So click this video to see rappers who checked stupid interviewers. That's crazy, bro. Getting spit. What? At that point, you hear me. You can't say I got this from nobody. The dates don't lie. The dates is everywhere. Me been saying this. I made it up. These are my own words and I mean it. And I made it up. I believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. The benefit of the doubt, the leniency, the mercy is in the warning. You know better than that. You proceed to do that, then you got to be willing to pay the debt. And the debt is, I believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. Meaning, I price my eye. Say, my eye is worth your whole fucking family tree. Now that, that's how I so choose to retaliate. You can't be mad then. The leniency and the benefit of the doubt and the mercy on love was in the warning. You, gonna, you know better. You done been to obedience school. It's crazy. They be quick with, to do that when niggas they know they can get that over on. As soon as they get apprehended by the colonizer that did that to your ancestors, that's the reason why you fighting amongst what other niggas. Man, y'all niggas is cowards, dog. Black lives don't matter. And I ain't black. I'm God's man. I ain't regular man. I ain't dumb peasant. I know thyself. And I damn sure ain't African American, which is two continents, a misnomer. Before America was Tymerian. Before that it was something else. I'll be damned.
This shit is ignorance and it's beneath me. But 15 rappers who check streamers. Don't be like the, these guys was clowns, bro. That's it for the video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. That left crazy. I mean, the right crazy. It's, yeah, I'm kicking shit. I, you ever been kicked in your chin? You see me fighting like Steve Fox, I'm going crazy, and I just switch it up and, and kick you in your shin, and then your chin, and lift you off the ground like Luke Kane. <sighs> and pull your fucking pants up for somebody to kick your ass. Us versus them, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.